Hi y'all, it's Coach Becky here from A Better You with Coach Becky. Here's a prepping tip. When the chicken is on sale, I buy multiple packs and these are tenderloin. I leave some as tenderloin for chicken tenders and I cut a couple packs up for chicken nuggets. I just use a kitchen shears. This one I got years ago through Pampered Chef. And I store it in bags, gallon size freezer bags. I have nuggets and I have chicken tenderloin. Having these prepped in advance helps me save time. When it's time to make dinner, I often walk into the kitchen to start dinner or when we need to be eating within an hour or need to be leaving for the field within an hour. So often I don't have time to be cutting chicken. When it comes to raw chicken, you'll see me wearing gloves. I am not one that likes raw chicken on my hands. off. We'll get this air out of the bag. These tenderloins I love to use in my air fryer. The cooking is more even than those huge chicken breasts. I use this for chicken parmy, THM cookbook, chicken fingers from Judy's blog, wonderfully made and dearly loved. Oh, I use this for my smothered chicken. That's made with my honey mustard and have the option of mushrooms. The chicken nuggets, I like to use the recipe from Cindy Mullet's cookbook, A Better Way to Healthy. Give you some ideas what I use this for. Now, the really large chicken breasts, I buy the stock up on that, but I bring that home and cook it right away in the Instant Pot and shred it, shred chicken for, you know, other recipes, soup, enchiladas. Not only does this save me on prep time, it also helps our grocery budget. By stocking up on protein when it's on sale, this will now allow me the next several weeks to not have to buy protein. And then my grocery bill at Aldi is under 50 bucks a week. So I love that part about it. You might have initial additional costs when stocking up, but then you don't have that cost again the next couple of weeks. No worries, I still have that big Costco grocery bill. I place the chicken on a tray in the freezer to freeze. And now I can throw them back in the freezer and I don't have to worry about all the little nuggets and the tenderloins making a, a big, thick, solid bag. Here are a few photos of my favorite things to make with chicken tenderloin and chicken nuggets. When I buy the packs of large chicken breasts, I buy it to cook in the crock pot or my instant pot to do shredded chicken. If it's close to bedtime, it goes in the crock pot and cooks on low all night. I will trim these up, put it in the crock pot with some water or chicken broth. All right, I have them trimmed and laying in the crock pot. Now I'm going to add liquid. 
I've now added my liquid and this is going to cook all night. And if you're cooking this during the day, eight hours on low is plenty of time. You can add seasonings or chicken broth, whatever you'd like, I just keep it plain. It has cooked all night and now it's ready to shred. I have put the chicken breasts in my KitchenAid mixing bowl and just using the normal paddle that comes with the KitchenAid is what we're going to use to shred this. And in just a few seconds, the whole pot of chicken is shredded. I'm going to let this cool and then I'll portion it to freeze it. The five pound pack of chicken made three bags. These are quart size freezer bags. And now I will store them in the freezer. Thanks for watching and enjoy these photos of some meals that I use this shredded chicken in. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips and updates from Coach Becky.